Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for the Amazon exclusive Botropolis Rescue Mission 6-pack. And this decal set includes three decal sheets on a combination of foil and vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's get these bots all decaled up and take a look at them both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now the first figures we'll look at with this decal set is the Micro Masters Astro Squad, consisting of Moon Rock, Missile Master, Blastmaster and Fuser. Taking a quick look at Moonrock first. Not a bad looking MicroMaster. Lots of nice molded details. He's got a blue face and you got some paint details right there on the feet. And that's about it. Taking a look at Missile Master next. He's got a little bit more paint applications with the blue face and the circle decals details on the chest. And he's got some silver right there on the shins. Next up, we have Blastmaster. And he's got a red helmet, black face, and you've got red forearms. And, of course, on the wings, you've got a red outline. And lastly, this guy, he's a fit to try to keep standing up. There we go. We've got Fusor. Now, like Fusor's got a silver chest some red there on the abs i like how he's holding his guns his phasers or fusers or whatever they are it's pretty cool he's got molded guns and he's got paint details there on the feet and on the side of the legs so there you go guys the astro squad in robot mode before and after. The Astro Squad's robot modes get quite a few new details thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a look at Moonrock first, he gets new white decals there on the shoulders, a new Autobot logo there dead center middle in the chest, and a new decal for the stomach area. Down on the thighs, he gets blue and black decals there. And down here on the feet, new blue decals for the windows. Now taking a look at Missile Master. Missile Master gets new decals right there on the shoulders that show off new Autobot logos as well. He also gets a decal right there in the middle of the chest. That's kind of hard to make out, but you can see the little triangle design. Here on the thighs, he gets new blue and black decals. And on the lower legs, you got these little decals right there that actually carry over into vehicle mode as tail lights. Taking a look at Blastmaster next, and I really like what Toy Hacks did for him. He gets these cool new wing details, decals, on the interior of the wings. There's decals for the exterior, but I really like what they added for the interior here with the giant Autobot logo, the gray stripe, and the blue outline. That looks really, really good. Also, new red decals right there for the stomach area and blue decals for the feet. And lastly, if I can get him to stand, we'll take a look at Fuser. Fuser gets new red decals there on the shoulders and forearms with a new Autobot logo right there and new blue decals for the feet. So there you go, guys. The Astro Squad in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, the Astro Squad looks pretty good. Taking a quick look at Moon Rock and Missile Master. There is some paint applications right here on the sides, back there on the back, here on the front with these vents. 
paint applications for the windows. Got the black wheels. Didn't get that lined up just right. Let's see, some gray there on the back. You've got a white missile. I do like this. That's pretty sweet. But yeah, pretty simple, but it works. Now for Fuser and Blastmaster, I like this shuttle. We've got a red shuttle here or a maroon shuttle, which is different than their original release, which was more of a NASA look with the black and white. But this still works. You've got the maroon all the way around the wings up here on the tail there on the back you got autobot insignias on each wings and yellow details right there for the windows and the black nose cone so there you go there is the micromaster astro squad before and after taking a look at moon rock and missile master first Starting here at the front of the vehicle, he gets brand new blue decals for the windows. Decals right here on the front for headlights. Up here on top, he does get hazard striping. Along the sides, you get little silver decals right there that show a control panel. A black decal with more control panels right there on the side. And that is pretty much it for vehicle mode. Now, if you split the two apart... Their individual vehicle modes both get tail lights. You can see right there and there. So just a few decals for the combined missile truck look, but it does add to it. Now, looking at Fuser and Blastmaster, this set gets a lot of decals. Taking a quick look at the windows first, which now have blue decals. There's a red decal right there on the nose cone. Along the back of the vehicle, there is blue decals right there. New decals for the wings with Autobot logos. And a new decal right there for the tail fin. There's also some red decals on these little top fins, both inside and out. So there you go. There you have the MicroMaster Astro Squad in vehicle mode after. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Ironworks is primarily white and blue, with white, of course, being the main color. I love the painted details there on the head sculpt, especially with the visor. He's got hazard striping up here on top of the chest, kind of a light gray right there. Moving on down, yellow red, the legs, there is red paint applications on the knees, blue shins gray right there for the toes i like it. i really like this the paint applications there on those pistons he's got a red hook gray there on the weapon and the weapon tip on the top of the shoulders we've got some nice tampa graft detailing that is going to carry over into his base mode and he's got a red autobot insignia right there on the shoulder so there you go there is ironworks in robot mode before and after ironworks robot mode is nowhere near as plain looking now thanks to toy hacks taking a closer look at the figure he gets a new blue metallic visor new blue highlights there on the side of the chest and new decals right there for the center of the chest that really look good and add some depth i like the 3d look of that right there that is really really cool on down here on the thighs or the hip area, he gets new blue decals that cover up the chrome pins, new red decals right there above the knees, and new decals for the feet. On the side of the legs, you do see new decals that will show up more in base mode. So there you go, guys. There is Ironworks in robot mode after. In base mode, straight out of the packaging, Ironworks is kind of a mixed bag. Half of the base mode looks great, the other half a little plain. The great looking section is the main area with the crane. As I showed earlier, the Tampa Graph details look great right there, along with the hazard striping, the paint there on the pistons, and the red crane. Then, of course, you've got the gray pipe or exhaust right there. The rest of the base is very plain looking with all these gray panels. 
Of course, you have some nice molded detail all over, but it needs a little something to make it pop. So there you go, guys. There is Ironworks in base mode before and after. Ironworks base mode gets a fantastic upgrade thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a closer look at the figure right here for the main crane area. There's new decals right there that show like a control panel and new decals right there below the crane that give him some blue highlights. And that's pretty much it for the crane section. But the amazing work is right there for all of the panels and ramps that really improve the plain gray look from earlier. There is blue decals right there, a helicopter landing pad here, You've got different roadways on these two sections and some nice black, yellow, blue, and red decals on that on-ramp. And I think that looks so good. So there you go. There is Ironworks in base mode after. And lastly, we have Over Air. And straight out of the packaging, I love this robot mode. Take a closer look at him. Great molded details all over with that combination of gray, red, and gold. Nice face sculpt right there. He's got the blue eyes, but I really love this chest area. I really like how that looks. Uh, he's got some gold here for his weapon. Down here on the legs, we got some blue and red. Down here on the lower legs, on the inside, we got some great yellow paint applications with some hazard stripes. On the side of the legs here, we've got some red and yellow. I just really like the color scheme on this bruiser of a bot. And I can't wait to see what Toy Hacks does for him. So there you go, over air in robot mode before and after. Over air's already very detailed robot mode gets a few new details thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a closer look at the figure, you get new decals right here on top of the robot mode. A new blue decal right there on the chest. These really cool gold foil decals on the bottom of the chest. And you get more of those cool foil decals here on the base of his arm cannon, along with some blue decals. On the side of the arm here, more decals. And the side of the legs. Now these decals you'll see more in base mode. And there you have over air in robot mode after. In base mode, straight out of the packaging, over air still looks really, really good with lots of great painted details. I love all the yellow there on the runway with the hazard striping right there. We've got yellow stripes here on the ends with Autobot insignia here on this side. The main hangar or tower area You've got blue windows here, and then you've got the gold tower. So there you go. There is over air in base mode before and after. Over air's base mode gets a vast improvement thanks to Toy Hacks. And I think my favorite decals for the base mode are the decals on the control tower. He gets brand new blue window decals there on the front. And then along the sides, he gets these nice, shiny gold decals. There's also gold decals right there underneath the observation deck. And I think that looks so cool. Going on down to the main hangar area, there's new decals that covered up the existing windows with more of a technical readout. And then there's new decals that go along the entire length of the runway. And these are multiple decals, including the ones that are silver, black, and yellow. And then you had decals with the black and red for the runway lights. And then here on the end, you got the black and silver circles, the black decals with the arrows. And that's the same on both sides. So there you have over air in base mode after. And real quick, we'll take a look at the large missile that comes with this set. It is white and gray. Lots of great molded details. This is a repaint of the missile that Double Dealer came with. Of course, you can 
split it apart so you have a missile here and a giant blaster. And the only real paint application it has is the Autobot insignia on the nose cone. So there is the missile before and after. The giant missile gets some new decals right up here below the nose cone. A multitude of rectangle decals with lots of different designs to them. So that really looks good on the rocket. Really adds a lot more detail. And then down here near the thruster, you get red decals with black striping. And that is it for the rocket. So there you have the rocket after. The Toy Hex decal set for the Botropolis Rescue Mission 6-pack really puts these figures out of this world, especially with the alt modes. And when you merge them together into their giant combined base form, this set really pops, especially Ironworks. I think Ironworks looks the best with his decals, but all in all, this is a great set of decals to have if you own this set of figures because, man, they look so much better now. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. And if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge shout out to my current channel members. It's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!